Hey guys, Brad coming at you here on Thursday night. Just finished day two at the National. And obviously the most fun thing, we just got back from the YouTube Hangout. Uh, or whatever you want to call it now. But uh, that was a blast. That's always a must. Very well done. Um, so we'll go backwards. We'll start with the YouTube Hangout. Big turnout again, probably 150 to 200 people there would be my guess throughout the night. Um, good mix of old, new commenters, you know, very good mix. Talked to a lot of people, met people I never met before. So great time. Why uh, I pulled in, this was pretty much in the parking lot before we even went in. Jake Legends Never Die. Hit me with these cool uncut sheets of the McDonald's 1993 game days. Let's see what. Like that. And one obviously has Marino on it. I told him someone sent me this by itself. I think it was Ivy that sent me that. And then this guy. And then what was hilarious is then Dave, Legends of the Dugout, also sent me a McDonald's. Marino. I thought that was hilarious. Like, what was the chances of that within five minutes of each other? This was from 86. And Dave also sent me some Pippin goodies from the early 90s. Just handed these to me in the parking lot. Some goodies there. Some of these I didn't have. I always loved Stadium Club. That was like high end back then. Very cool. And then an Encore Marino. So Dave, great catching up with you again. I appreciate it, sir. And then, let's see what else we have here. Then we have Sticks and Seams, Mike. He also handed me a little stack. Look at that. That's very beautiful. Hunter Long Rookie. Very nice second year to a green out of Illusions. Green with Dolphins just matched perfectly. And then a Waddle Rookie out of Ginner. So Mike... First time meeting Mike. Pleasure, sir. I appreciate it. And then also another first time meeter. Hodges, 1455. Brian, finally met him. Um, I never knew what he looked like. So when he came up to me at the show, it was like, oh, I recognize your voice. You're Brian, you know. So it was nice meeting him. And he hooked it up with a Mark Clayton from Archives. As he said, remember at one point he led the, he had the uh, all-time touchdown lead for a single season at one point. So 2001 Archives. Very awesome. Mark Clayton autograph. And then this is a PSA 10 from 2014 Prism. Larry Zonka Light Blue Wave 10. Look at that card. Etching noises, Paul. Etching noises. Mm -hmm. 68 of 99. So that was too much, Brian. But it is much appreciated, sir. Two awesome additions. And then other little cards I got throughout the day, whether it was the meetup or beforehand, I met Danny and John. They have a good sports card talk show. Victor, who's got a uh, book that just came out last Friday, I believe. Wrote a book about rookie cards. Definitely recommend. QR code will lead you right to it. I'll leave it right there for you. Definitely go check it out. You can get it on Kindle or the hard copy. So it was good seeing Victor again. Infectious personality. I really like Victor. Uh, Rick, I saw him at the show last year and never actually got to meet him, 
So I made a conscious effort at the meetup of like, hey, I need to meet you. So Rick handed me these. Very awesome. Portrait. And I think he said Scott Reindeer Studios did this one. This is awesome with Mickey Mantle. So, and this has, you know, all the stuff on the back. So there you go. So nice meeting Rick. Good guy. Enjoyed talking to him. And then Mr. Livestream here. It's John 3D 80s kid. Also, you find him on Four Collectors. Autograph this nice piece. So nice meeting you for the first time as well, sir. So there you go. That was kind of basically YouTube Hangout or cards I got throughout the show today from other YouTubers. Now I picked up two cards today. You said, well, your day one honestly was pretty good. So with day two top it. Now it did not top it in quantity, but a monster has been landed, folks. First off, this was actually the second card picked up, but I have a pretty much a rule. If you have a good Dolphins player and it's a logo patch, it comes home to me. From 2014 Immaculate Collection, that's when Immaculate was good. Look at this guy. Mr. Brian Hartline, very solid, dependable receiver, plus a heck of a coach now in college football, a receiver's coach, so pumping him out at OSU. This is number to 10, game used. And, of course, I played with the patch a little because you got to. Ryan Hartline, can't beat that. So that worked out. And then there was one other card today. It's from a cleat. And it's from 21 Flawless. And... Prepare yourself. This is in a 360 point mag, by the way. And this, I believe, is the inside part of the foot, like where the your foot would touch on the inside of the shoe, you know, the bottom part. The Nike logo on card autograph. Three out of five. They obviously aren't going to have all Nike. There's probably, I think there's two with Nike logos, obviously. So, number to five, Nike logo. This was one of the cards I said if he would take my offer, there wouldn't be a whole lot of money left. And, well, he took the offer I gave him. I said, listen, I'm the guy at the show that would probably buy this. All right, and I was like, here's what I think it's worth. I'm going to send my best offer out first. He thought about it for about 90 seconds. He goes, are you paying cash? I said, yep. He said, let's do it. So I said, all right, you come home to Papa. I mean, you just can't leave that sitting on a show, right? I would have been haunted by that if I left that there because I would have never got it you know, again. So Nike from the cleat. It's Flawlet Cleat Autographs is the set. Beautiful autograph. Beautiful card. Pretty stoked to add that. And that ends. Day two. It was a long day, but it was a fun day. Um, basically, well, what's the downsides of the shows? Parking can be a problem. You either have to show up really early, which I showed up early today. Or you just got to come in like an hour late. Do not show up to that show from like 9.30 to 10.30. Don't do it. I'm telling you. <laughs> I saw what that looked like. So luckily I beat that track, but I saw what it looked like. So, And then obviously leave the show an hour early. All right. <laughs> Basically the perfect time to spend at the show is 11 to 5. Or you get there really early and stay till five. But either way, that's pretty much really the only down part I would say of Cleveland so far is the parking situation. They don't have cops running it. They'll occasionally have a few employees, but you know they're not really. 
they don't really know what to do. So luckily we're coming up through like the back way. So I don't really deal with a lot of traffic. We've been fortunate with that where we're staying. But the people coming from the freeway, I guess it got really backed up today. So that's basically the really only negative of the show. It did start to get a little warm in there, but it was packed. People thought, would people come to Cleveland for the National? They have. I think there's just about as many people as Chicago last year for a Thursday. So we'll see what Friday, Saturday, if it keeps up the totals. But if it does, it's going to be very close to the amount of people that came to Chicago, which I did not foresee, to be honest. I thought it would be a little less this year. But that's enough little rambling, just giving you an insight to the show. Otherwise, great variety at the show, whether you want vintage. This year, I thought it's been the best variety of the three nationals I've been to. Of If you want 90s refractors and inserts, they're there. If you want, you know, kind of the golden era of patches, 03 to 011, there's some of that there. There's stuff like this there. There's obviously the real high, high end, but there's also some of the bargain boxes I noticed people pulling out of were decent. So I think it's a very good variety at the show. Even if you want non-sports, there's more hockey dealers, it looks like. So, yeah, I think very good variety. I, I think the show has went very well. So there's just a few things that need a little work in. Probably need one more set of bathrooms. They have a good one downstairs. You might need one more set in that center, but those are just little things if you were to nitpick. But overall, it's been a fun show. We got two more Friday and Saturday still to go. And uh, yeah, like I said, that was fun. YouTube Hangout was a blast. So now we're going to go chill and probably go to bed because it was a long day. So thanks for watching, guys. Day two in the books. I don't know if you'll see anything from day three or four because, you know, there's probably about 150 bucks left. Who knows? Somewhere in that vicinity. So we'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.